go to David McDowell, John Layfield, and Melissa Armo on all of this. Melissa, any with you, begin with you. What do you look for late Sunday night when you're looking at Asia or you're looking at how our futures are trading? What, what do you pick apart and want to discern for maybe signs of stability or norm returning, whatever that is? Actually, only focus on where the market's gapping. So that's pre-market or post-market activity. So Sunday night, really, you just have the futures. In the morning, when you get up in the morning Monday, it'd be really interesting to see where we gap. I know we rallied into the close on Friday, but I think we were weak. We were weak all last week, and that's what made people panic. It was the first bearish week you could really say we've had in 14 and a half months since Trump was elected. I think we could still be lower. I think we have to gap up huge on Monday morning in order to recover from this immediately, which we might, but I don't think that. That we will. We'll have to see. So I look at the gap. The po- how, how the are gap it? between what? Though? The gap between the close of four o'clock, where we close, okay. and the open on Monday morning. Where okay. are we going to open? Where's are institutions going to come in in the pre-market and buy, or are they going to dump more shares? That's and have more selling. You know.